be presented to Sakibo at World Forest Conference in Quebec, Canada in 2003, and Buenos Aires, Argentina, 2009, and the United Nations World War Convention on Climate Change in the past, South Africa, 2010, and Qatar, And has presented its various research works and papers at various places globally, which is
forest law, as the department is split into two, namely forestry and environmental management, wood products, and bioresources technology. The month of July is highly significant to my Nikla family. It was the value program. All my children were born in July. Last two, last two were twins by month and day. That's July 17, but not the same year. My father died in July. My mother was buried in July. My mother-in-law died in July. My first international academic invitation was in July. And today, July, my mother was This inaugural lecture presents the divine plan of God in Honey Valley to waste. In order to compare the nitty-gritty of this presentation, answer will be provided to the following question. Who first added value to waste? To which waste was value added? Ground and waters. When did the transformation process take place? After the beginning. What necessitated the transformation process for God's own player? Where did this action take place? In heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created heavens and the earth. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Later, the earth was without form, void, and darkness over the earth. This shows that everything was in a state of ruin and devastation. Thereafter, God intervened to correct the anomalies caused by the antics of Satan in the Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. In the first day, God created light, and he called the light day and the dark night. And second day, the firmament dividing the earth. That's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. And then the third day, the dry land, vegetation, and sea were created. On the fourth day, the sun and the moon were fixed in the firmament for day and night, for signs, seasons, and years. The fifth day, the water brought forth abundant moving creatures after its kind, and we get fowl that fly above the earth. The sixth day, the earth brought forth living creatures after its kind. Thereafter, man was made after God's own image and likeness. To be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion over all creations. On the seventh day, God rested in Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. But God discovered that one thing is not good, that a man should be alone. Genesis 2, 18. And as such, he decided to add value to the plea and bone to make woman for help and completion. In Genesis 2, 22. Man was the last of all his creation. He gave man authority and dominion over our creation. Satan and his host, they ain't the only way from that at that time, deceived and gave the woman the fruit from evil tree to eat through hypnotism and deception. You can see what the serpent is doing there. The woman ate it and gave to the husband with her, and both became waste. God thereafter turned the heaven, the earth, and all creatures to waste. Abel was the first waste on earth, turned to dust, and fertilized by Cain, his brother. Looking at the abundance of waste prevalent, Adam and to Balfour, we became the divine option for me. Value addition to Balfour waste, my focus. Fiber, Balfour waste, a valueless fibrous materials and of no economic importance. Derived from wood, woody climber, shrub, by composite panel products, and agricultural farm produce. Mr. Faisal Selector. Every human being in this is a product of waste. Value was added to the ground to form and make every 
one of us seated here today. Historical development of Bavava and composite. The use of technosolidal materials for brick started during the Iblika age in Egypt, when the children of Israel were in bondage under King Pharaoh. Bricks were made from a mixture of short straw and clay, and then dry in the sun, as shown in the picture. This focus on wood waste. The mismanagement of forest resources gave rise to enormous wood waste and triggered by high rate of wood product consumption caused by increase in population and infrastructural development. Over exploitation of timber resources without skillful exploit exploitation and harvesting techniques. Deficiencies in the supply of valuable economic and well-known species. Use of obsolete equipment and machinery in wood harvesting, transportation, and processing. Large quantities of assorted wood waste generation in the industry and forest due to human and machine errors. Inadequate modern technology in wood waste management, processing, and utilization. Encroachment and illegal activities perpetrated outside government regulation. The level and degree of poverty in the forest community and inadequate knowledge of mitigatory strategy of the forest to actualize environmental stability and climate change. Focus on agricultural waste. To overcome inadequate supply of value every wood, agricultural waste is considered a substitute to wood waste in the manufacturing of value-added products. The waste generated from the agricultural sector in Nigeria are enormous and valueless, but can create sustainable waste. Central Bank 2005 and 2012 gave the total output of some agricultural commodities between 1970 and 2007 as shown in the table one below. The use of agricultural residues will have the following benefits. Increase farmers' income and alleviate poverty. Increase raw material supply for construction industry. Create job opportunities for low and high income earners. Increase food production. The displayer in forest resources for diversity, develop innovative science and technology in engineering, architectural design, and building mega structure. Produce innovations in product manufacturing, processing, and utilization. The magnitude of waste generated in forest and agricultural sector inspired my effort to add value to Bafaba waste through simple, innovative, adaptive technologies in managing, processing, manufacturing, and utilization of our contract bonded with inorganic, inorganic material. This is predicated on the following seven factors. Recognition of suitability of a wide range of raw materials for bulk production in order to reduce prayer on existing forest resources and the desire to increase wood resources utilization, acceptability of the new product in the market as alternative to some timber, and the order to meet wood product needs on a sustainable basis, the desire to protect forest biodiversity, and the passion to use valueless agricultural byproducts for value-added finance to enhance industrial development and growth. Interest in biofiber but manufacturing. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir. My growing interest in the manufacturing of our composite panel is largely due to availability of the major raw materials as stated that found locally. Simplicity of its manufacturing technology, the availability to small scale entrepreneurship, inadequate supply of well known wood species of fine natural durability low cost of cement and plastic binder, relative to resin binder, inadequate housing materials in Nigeria to meet such shortages, high resistance to tannins, insect, and fungal attacks, uh, moisture, freezing, fire, 
good insulation property, durability and reliability, and non-aggressive and non-contagious nature of dust derived from the process. Sources of raw material for biocomposite dust. Biofiber, biofiber waste from the forest includes forest thinning, pruning, tree tops and branches, twigs, off cut stones, crooked logs, lesser known species. Biofiber waste from wood industry, from saw milling and planing, meal residues, plywood industry, waste, pulp, mill waste, furniture and gunnery industry, industry waste, as uh, shown in the figure. Then, bio waste from agricultural sector, yam and cassava, maize stock, pork, coffee waste, bagas, which is sugar cane, rice chaff, banana stem, granite shell, cotton stem, and bean stem and chaff, palm cannon shell and chaff, coconut fiber, and granite shell. Bio fiber waste from wheat. Eupatolium odorata, elephant grass, bamboo stem, lufa cylindrica. Highlight of my research work. I got interested in this specialized area of wood science and technology in 1982 as a student in the School of Forest in Baden, Nigeria. 1984, wood waste generated in Nigeria stood at 1.72 million cubic meters as reported by Badege and Giwa, and increases to 2.32 million cubic meters, followed by Badege's report, and wood waste generated in Ondo State between 1996 and 2001 alone amounted to 0.57 million cubic meters, as reported by Ajay 2001. In a quest to find alternative sources of Biofiber products to local processing plant and construction industry, and therefore it's thought that give, given the right condition and will enable to learn more about the production complexity of new products from the increasing generation of wood waste. Apart from the wood waste generated from various sources and plywood, the existing four particular industry could not utilize this enormous waste but are rather known at the one side. Today, all the 10 wood processing industry units are long gone and no more in operation. The death and closure of the mill was due to inadequate food supply, over exploitation, and insufficient wood waste. Therefore, I saw a bright future in managing our bar fiber waste from, for the production of latent composite panel. However, Nigeria has not developed a technology-driven economy due to underfunding of education, science, and technology, coupled with inadequate, concerted scientific approach for management of our wood resources. I was prompted to harvest main stock and manufacture panel products to meet future needs. The completion and novelty of this research 1988 gave back to the use of non-conventional raw material for particle board production at the uh, Forest Research Institute of Nigeria in Ibadan. Over the years, further development of new products from non-conventional waste has attracted the attention of national and international organizations and the call for exhibition and presentation. 1985 to 86, I developed a small scale pilot feasibility project on the manufacturing of particle for using wood and agricultural waste as the basic input. It was on the basis of my pilot project in Buckinghamshire that the British government uh, scholarship authority granted me a two year extension tenable at the University College of Northwest Bangor for the master degree program. On my return home in 1988, the result of my research project was submitted to Ondo State Government because I was a start then, with the aim of sourcing for investors and collaborators to establish particle board meetings 
using agricultural waste. Unfortunately, I have not received any communication from the state authorities over the past 28 years. In an attempt to fill the gaps created by overexploitation of the wood resources and shortages of wood waste for the wood composite panel industry, I therefore investigated the suitability of lignin cellulose fibers for panel product manufacturing. My contribution. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me at this juncture to mention my modest contribution through research activities to knowledge in the area of biofiber composite. This contribution covers the following production of biocomposite from biofiber waste, extraction and utilization of preservative from indigenous wood species, utilization potential and wood quality of lesser known species, characterization of wood species for pulp and paper production, production of biocomposite for wood waste. That shows the woman working with the palm oil, but that shaft is, was my target. The granite also, I'm interested in the shell, and also to produce a, 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 a beautiful buffer composite seen in plate um, three. At the end of 2008, discovered that Melina, Lucinia, a mixture of both were suitable for biocomposite manufacturing after hot water retreatment, stated in plate four to six. Despite the fact that they have no compatibility with cement and soft wood, at the end of 2000,